digitization is affects uh, today already in our European industry. Uh, it affects on one hand the products that we make and the way how they are connected to each other, but it also affects a lot the way how we make these products, the production processes. Uh, talking about the products, uh, you can see today already that we are moving indeed to a kind of internet of things where everything will be more and more connected to each other. Uh, that will have effects on our industries because uh, you will have probably a change in skills that you need for the industry. Some jobs, some skills might not be there anymore in the future and you need probably uh, new skills or more skills of a certain level. So this is certainly something that's going on. You can also see the, 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 the point that it has effect on our energy supply and the way how we can manage our energy supply in the future, but also the way how we um, uh, produce products. Yeah? So you can see now more and more the introduction of, for example, uh, 3D printing um, as a kind of alternative for traditional manufacturing. So industrial uh, production will move slowly maybe, but more and more from mechanics to a production based on electronics and on software. So this is certainly uh, there and it will only um, in increase in the future. On the other hand, uh, production processes will also uh, change. Yeah? Um, so the, 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 the point I already made on, on, on 3D printing is an example of it. Um, so the, ch the challenges for Europe are um, there. Uh, on one hand, it has certainly an opportunity. I mean, Europe can take with the right investment policy uh, the lead in this uh, development. And uh, if you have the lead in this digitalized, uh, digitalized economy, then you can also take advantage of that for your own European manufacturing and for your own European industry. So we have to invest in this economy, in this economy of the future. But there is also, uh, there are also challenges and dangers linked to it. Um, so on one hand, the skills uh, that people need um, will change. And what we urgently need is to anticipate on this change. So we need to anticipate on what's going to happen in the future. We don't have to wait until it's there because then it's too late to reskill people and to upgrade the skills of employed people. So anticipation of this change is absolutely crucial to have the just transition. So a key word we always uh, put forward in this is the just transition. Workers don't have to pay the bill of a digitalized economy. Uh, we have to make sure that they are still on board in the future and for that an anticipat anticipatory agenda is needed and that um, includes also uh, a skills uh, agenda, a very important skills agenda. Furthermore, uh, there is also the challenge of uh, employment contracts. We are moving away from the traditional employment contracts, not for everybody. Many people will still be, be employed, but many more people will be in a more precarious contract linked to the company. So how are we going to organize that? How are we going to make sure that uh, everybody has a decent pay, everybody has a living wage, everybody has good working conditions. So also those people that work in the margin of a core company. So this is absolutely also crucial for our um, trade union agenda. So for us as trade unions, it's also important to uh, look then uh, to the way how we are organizing ourselves in this economy. So we have to be aware uh, that the traditional company with four walls where everything happens within these four walls will also change and will also disappear to a certain extent. And that's also a challenge that we have to take up as trade unions.